The Truth of Life Part 6 Doc, I need your help, please. Hello, Doc. What's going on? Hello, Mrs. Helena. We were just talking. Nothing else, if you excuse me. I've got things to do. Of course. Go ahead. Thank you. Hello, honey. How are you feeling? Please, get out. I don't want to talk to you anymore, neither, Grace. Okay, dear. If you want to stay alive, then shut your big mouth. Got it? Whatever. Nanki, I'm very upset with you. Dee Dee, I'm very sorry. But, I've been very busy. It's your big nephew's wedding and you're not even here yet. Hain, does hun my Teraki Kara. Tell me what do I do with you now? <laughs> okay, Dee Dee, sorry. I'm coming to you as soon as I can. Okay, Changa Fair. See you. Hey, darling, have you done all the shopping? Because we have to do the holiday ceremony. Yes, Mummy G. I have. And, Mummy G. Yes, honey. I'm tired of all these ceremonies. When will they end? <laughs> Soon. Honey, don't you worry. It's our tradition. Okay, tradition my foot. Let's go home and get you ready. Hi baby, I was getting a little bored. So I thought, I should call you. What are you doing? How's Faith? Hi baby, these ceremonies makes me so tired. I was going to change. And Faith is good. She'll stay the night at the hospital tonight. Oh, that's good. I can't wait to see. But, Papa G restricted me from going out. Because tomorrow's our wedding. So, who cares? Change your clothes and come see me. Pretend to your family that you're going to bed. And sneak out. Okay, baby. Wait for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 